Preparations for flight testing the Army's XH-40 helicopter reached an important phase when the Bell design craft was rolled out for its first engine run. Only 15 months had passed since Bell was awarded the design and development contract for this first of a new generation of high-performance helicopters specifically designed for gas turbine power. Next was another run with the engine and transmission coupled for the first time. This transmission had previously been subjected to deflection tests and severe runs through power and RPM ranges on the bench test stand. The transmission, like other Bell engineered components of the XH-40, is designed to provide simplified maintenance and 1,000 hour periods between major overhauls. During later runs with the main rotor installed, minor checks and adjustments were made in the control and rotor systems, and Bell pilots were able to get the feel of control response. As testing continued, dynamic components were added until all drive systems had been installed. The main and tail rotor system had previously been put through severe runs on the whirl test stands. Then the required number of tie-down hours was completed, to qualify the helicopter for hovering check flights. On October 22, 1956, members of the Senior Army Research and Development Board assembled on the heliport to observe the first flight. Less than three weeks had elapsed since the Lycoming XT-53 engine, bearing serial number one, had been delivered to Bell. Contributing to the success of this initial flight, was Bell's new underslung feathering axis rotor hub. This marked the first time that the new rotor design had been flown in a helicopter larger than the H-13. No stabilizer bar was used, and the pilots reported that control loads were very acceptable. The noise level from the XT-53 turbine engine was surprisingly low, and consequently, the noise level inside the cabin was after 10 hours of tie-down runs at 110% of hovering power and with instrumentation equipment installed, the XH-40 began its two hours of limited exploratory flight. Winds during this period were about 15 knots with gusts to 25 knots. At a gross weight of 4,600 pounds and using two CG locations, speeds up to 55 knots were recorded. Hovering power required was 375 horsepower. The design gross weight of the helicopter is 5,400 pounds and the 825 horsepower engine is derated to 770 horsepower for this installation. During several of the flights, a free-floating counterbalanced horizontal stabilizer was installed. It is designed so that airflow will cause the stabilizer to assume the correct position to maintain the desired fuselage attitude and thus increase the allowable CG limits. During January 1957, the XH-40 completed its 50-hour ground qualification test in two weeks' time. Load levels of approximately 2 G...